welcome to my kitchen. My name is Mary Vic Francisco, your TLA teacher for today. I am here to guide you in your learning journey about TLA 10 cookery. Be sure to have your self-learning module beside you. Are you ready to learn? Great learners! First quarter lessons are all about preparing eggs and egg dishes. For the first topic, we will discuss about the definition of egg, its physical structure, and composition. Let's get it on! The learning competency for this module is to perform Ms. and class. For the learning outcome, is to identify the different structures, components, and nutritional value of an egg. For the content standard, the learner should demonstrate an understanding of the different structures, components, and nutritional value of an egg. For the performance standard, the learner should independently distinguish the different physical structures, components, and nutritive value of an egg. Hmm, what is an egg? It is a food produced by a bird with hard shell. It is classified as super food because it is loaded with lots of nutrients. As a cooking ingredient, an egg has a lot of purposes, whether it is cooking or baking. In baking, eggs give structures to our favorite baked products. An egg can be used as an emulsifier, leavening agent, and as a thickening agent. Emulsifier means it is a substance that stabilizes an emulsion, in particular a food additive used to stabilize processed foods. Leavening agent, hmm, it is a substance causing expansion of dust and batters. Thickening agent, it is a substance which can increase the viscosity of a liquid without substantially changing its other properties. In cooking, when an egg is combined with other ingredients like vegetables and meats, anyone can produce delicious and flavorful egg dishes. Let us now learn the physical structure and composition of egg. This illustration shows the physical structure of an egg. Hmm, shell. It accounts the 9 to 12 percent of egg depending on its size. It is the egg's outer covering that serves as the first line of defense against bacterial contamination. Mm, air cell. This part is the space between the egg whites and the egg shell. The albumin. The albumin refers to the white of an egg. It accounts the 67% of liquid weight of an egg there are two types of the albumin, the thin albumin and the thick albumin. Chalaza, it looks like the ropey strew or strands that um, it has on the both sides of the egg. It is more prominent or the more prominent the chalaza, the fresher the egg is. The germinal disc. This is the entrance of the ladder bra, the channel leading to the center of the egg yolk. The membranes. There are two types of membranes. We have the inner shell membrane and the outer shell membranes. When you say inner shell membrane, it is sticks to the albumin. When you say outer shell membranes, it sticks 
to the shell. The yolk. The yolk is the yellow portion of the egg, makes up about 33% of the liquid weight of an egg. It is covered by the vitellin membrane that separates it from the egg whites and protects it from breakage. Now that you have learned the composition of egg, let's have an activity. Prepare your answer sheet and write down your answer. This activity is entitled as Scrambled as Scrambled Eggs. Are you ready? Great, let's go. To make a really good scrambled egg, you need to use a good quality of ingredients. The following are the different structures of egg. And scramble the letters to find the words. Number one. These are the letters. E, H, L, L, S. Mm. What is the word? If your answer is shell, no, you are correct. Number two. R, A, I, E, L, L, C. What is the word? Hmm. If your answer is yourself, now you are correct. Good job. Number three. B U A L E M N. Hmm. What is the word? If your answer is albumin, then you are correct. Good job. Number four. L K Y O. If your answer is yolk, you are correct. Number five. We have letters A. L A A Z H Z. What is the word? If your answer is Chaliza, then you are correct. Nice. Number six. We have letters B R A E M M E N S. What is the word? If your answer is membranes, then you did a great job. Correct. Number seven. We have letters E, R, G, I, N, M, L, S, I, S, D, C. Uh-oh. What is the word? If your answer is germinal disk, then you are correct. Number eight. We have letters G, E, G, I, H, T, E, W. What is the word? If your answer is egg white, then you are correct. Number nine, we have letters H I N T L B A I N U M. Mm -hmm. What is the word? If your answer is thin albumin, then you are correct. Number ten, we have letters I C H. T K L B A I N U M. Mm, what is the word? Mm, if your answer is thick albumin, then you are correct. Great job, learners!
Let us now proceed to the next topic, which is the composition and nutritive value of egg. Let us take a look on the composition chart of an egg. Yes, you heard it right. An egg is also composed of ash. So we have here the parts, the whole egg, the albumin, the yolk, then the percentage, the percent water, okay? And we have also the fats and the protein, okay? Yes. When you say ash in food science, it refers to the residue of mineral elements which are left over after our body completes digestion of food we eat. Even though ash is not a nutrient as such, it can often be seen on nutritional panels on some food products. Okay, ash also gives us the picture of total amount of inorganic substance, including trees and major minerals, calcium, potassium, manganese, etc. As well as toxic substances just like lead, mercury, cadmium, etc. To put it simply, ash is an organic residue left over when heat is applied and organic components such as water, fats, and protein are removed by burning. It helps to determine the mineral makeup of the food, nutritional value, and quality. Sometimes people may get confused and think that ash is added to the food, but this is not so. Okay, so as you can see, a full egg has a 65.5 water content, 11.8 protein, 11% of fat, and 11.7 of ash. For the albumin, uh, it has 88% um, of water, 11% of protein, 0.2% of fat, and 0.8 of ash. For the yolk, it's has a 48% of water, 17.5 17 of protein, 32.5 of fat, and 2.0 of ash. Let us now learn the nutritive volume of an egg. Ta-da! Egg is indeed one of the nature's complete foods. Eggs are, are a very versatile food that can prepare as a standalone food or combined with other ingredients. Eggs are mostly composed of fat, protein, water, and minerals. It has a high quality protein with all the essential amino acids. It contains all of the vitamins except vitamin C. You heard it right. Only the vitamin C doesn't include it in the egg. Let us take a look on the egg nutrient chart. Calories. It provides the essential energy, but if you consume too many, you will gain weight. Protein. It is a macronutrient that is essential to building muscle mass. Fat. It is a type of nutrient, and just like protein and carbohydrates, your body needs some fat for energy, to absorb vitamins, and to protect your heart and brain health. Monosaturated fats, it can help reduce bad cholesterol levels in your blood, which can lower your risk of heart disease and stroke. The polyunsaturated fats are important for nerve function, blood clotting, brain health, and muscle strength. Saturated fats make up at least 50% of the cell membranes. They play a vital role in the health of our bones. They improve the immune system. Trans fat can reduce risk factors associated with heart disease, diabetes, and obesity. Cholesterol is important because it helps to build the structure of a cell membranes, make hormones like estrogen, testosterone, and adrenal hormones, it helps your metabolism work efficiently. For example, cholesterol is essential for your body to produce vitamin D, produce bile acids, which help the body digest 
fats and absorb important nutrients. The choline helps to improve your memory and cognition. Choline is an essential nutrient for brain development, protecting the heart health, boosting metabolism, reducing the risk of, of pregnancy complications. We have the riboflavin or the vitamin B2. It is a vitamin that is needed for growth and overall good health. It helps the body break down carbohydrates, proteins, and fats to produce energy, and it allows oxygen to be used by the body. Vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, is a nutrient that helps keep the body's nerve and blood cells healthy. It also helps prevent a type of anemia called the megaloblastic anemia that makes people tired and weak. We have the folate. It is one of the B vitamins that is needed to make red and white blood cells in the bone marrow convert carbohydrates into energy and produce the DNA and the RNA. Adequate folate intake is extremely important during periods of rapid growth such as pregnancy, infancy, and adolescence. The vitamin D plays a significant role in the regulation of calcium and maintenance of phosphorus levels in the blood. These factors are vital for maintaining our healthy bones. We have also the vitamin A. It protects your eyes from the night blindness and age-related decline may lower your risk of certain cancers. It supports a healthy immune system, reduces your risk of acne, supports bone health, promotes healthy growth and reproduction. The vitamin B6 are the paradoxic. It plays a key role in the metabolism, brain function, and healthy hair and skin. It may help to protect against the air pollution. Vitamin B1 or thiamine, it helps to bring complications in the nervous system, brain, muscles, heart, stomach, and intestines. It is also involved in the flow of electrolytes into and out of muscle and nerve cells. We have the vitamin E. It is a powerful antioxidant that may help reduce free radical damage and slow the aging process of your cells. Have benefits for a wide range of skin and nail conditions, including treating your dry skin, preventing, your, uh, preventing skin cancer, and treating psoriasis. We have also the selenium. It is essential uh, mineral that supports the immune system. And the cognitive fertility and cognitive function, it may also prevent some forms of cancer and thyroid, the phosphorus. It helps in um, keeping the bones and teeth strong, helping the muscles contract, aiding muscle recovery after exercises, filtering and removing waste from the kidneys, promoting healthy nerve conduction throughout the body. Iron, it helps to preserve many vital functions in the body, including general energy, focus, gastrointestinal process, the immune system, and the regulation of the body temperature. Zinc, we have also the zinc that helps in regulating immune function, for treating diarrhea, effects on the learning and memory to treat the common cold, it has a role in wound healing, decrease the risk of age-related chronic disease. We have also the calcium. Your body needs calcium to build and maintain strong bones. Your heart, muscles, and nerves also need calcium to function properly. So, Jude, balances fluid in the body that helps send nerve impulses needed for muscle contraction, influences blood pressure, even molest reductions in sodium consumption can lower blood pressure. Potassium, it is one of the most important minerals in the body. It helps regulate fluid balance, muscle contraction, and nerve signals. What more, a high potassium diet may help uh, reduce blood pressure and water retention protect against stroke, and prevent osteoporosis and kidney stone. We have also the magnesium. It helps keep the blood pressure normal, bone strong, and the heart rhythm steady. Oh, I hope you've learned more about the different nutrients and what does it um, do in our body. Let us now have an assessment. 
on what we have learned today. Write your answer on your answer sheet. Uh, this is from the self-check 1.2, the egg credible. The directions is exactly how much do you remember of the different physical structure and composition of eggs? Identify what is being referred to each statement. Write your answer on your answer sheet. For number one, listen carefully. Egg contains high quality protein with all the essential amino acids and all vitamins except what vitamins? Your timer, timer starts now. Stop. <laughs> All right, now, what is the answer? The answer is vitamin C. Oh, I hope you got it, the correct answer. Okay, next, number two. The blank makes up about 33% of the liquid weight of the egg. Hmm. Your timer starts now. And the answer is... Ta-da! The yolk. Okay, next, number three. Air cell is the mm, blank between the white and shell at the large end of the egg, which is barely existent in the newly laid egg. Your timer starts now. And the correct answer is air cell is the space. Very good. Next, number four. The shell is the egg's outer covering. It accounts for about how many percent of its total weight depending on egg size. Your timer starts now. And the correct answer is nine to twelve percent number five the blank or also called as albumin accounts for most of an egg's liquid weight your timer starts now and the answer is the egg white. Number six. The blank is the egg's first line of defense against bacteria contamination. Mm, your timer starts now. And the answer is the shell. Number seven, germinal disc is the entrance of the blank, the channel leading to the center of the yolk. Your timer starts now. Mm, and the answer is Latabra. All right, number eight. Membrane sticks to the shell while the inner membrane sticks to the blank. Your timer starts now. And the answer is albumin. Number nine. The blank disc is barely noticeable as a slight depression on the surface of the yolk. Your timer starts now. And the answer is the germinal disc. Number 10. 
Egg is indeed one of the nature's blank. First, because it contains a lot of vitamins and minerals. Your timer starts now. And the answer is ta da! Nature's complete food. Alright. I hope everybody got the perfect 10. Good job! <laughs> Very good. Now is homework time. This will be your homework. Create an egg recipe. Consult your family about their favorites as the consideration for creating a recipe. Be sure to list all the ingredients and the procedures. Next, research or to find the answer in the following questions. Letter A. Why are egg yolks yellow? What do I mean? Are brown eggs more nutritious than white eggs? Letter C. Thus, the color of the egg yolk indicates freshness. Mm. Okay, and that will be your homework. All right, and we're done with our lesson for today, my dear students. Like a healthy man said, help is well. Keep healthy and safe, everyone. Once again, this is Mom Mary Vic Francisco, your daily teacher for today. It is more fun in the kitchen. Goodbye and see you next time.